the great thing about having very little time left is not too many expectations on that synthesis. Um, I did want to say a few words um, of thank you and just also give you a sense about how this fits into the broader picture moving forward. Um, so I do think we learned quite a li lot today about um, at least cars, but also hopefully a bit about the electricity supply in, um, in, in, in the inner city and surrounding areas. Um, one quote that I thought was quite helpful was, was Peter's uh, quick uh, statement that there's real change in how consumers are using energy. And, um, and we're smack in the middle of that change right now. So uh, this, uh, this discussion that we've kicked off more broadly today is really about how, how you guys in the room and, 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 and your stakeholders and end consumers and ourselves can it help us break down barriers to enable a lot of these options to happen? Now, now we can't promise you the world. This is one project at one time in one state. Um, it could be a catalyst for some of the broader changes you're looking for. And it's also a finite time that we're working with. But we hear a lot about the options to use those different pieces of the puzzle to supply energy uh, to different um, uh, in different and innovative ways. Well, here's one opportunity for us to, in one amount of time over the next five to 10 years, capture as many of those as we can and see if we can put our, um, our money where, where our thoughts are. I'm sure there's a better way to say that. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make that clear. Um, and and it's, it's not just us uh, talking about it. We really do expect to talk, to work with, with folks on developing the skills, technologies, the de develop some of these markets, and actually make some of those proposed regulatory changes required to get some of this stuff up. So this is the beginning, uh, this isn't the end. So I, I mentioned this earlier, that we're at the uh, need identification stage. We then normally go through reviewing options in more detail. Uh, many of you uh, who understand the industry a bit more know there's a regulatory investment test process. Um, we then plan the options in detail and we go ahead and implement the solutions. What does that look like for powering Sydney's future and where we are today? So right at the moment, we're in that little blue box. And it hasn't started today. There's been a lot of direct briefings, a lot of um, analysis, uh, and it's certainly not going to end today. So coming out of today, there are three ways for you to get your feedback directly into that process on the needs analysis stage. One is we've heard you all today, and we, and we hope you've written quite a lot down. We will take that on board. Uh, we will summarize it, synthesize it, publish it, get the conversation going. Two is the website. We will open uh, on our have your say, yoursaytransgrid.com.au got the plug, have you say, a uh, website, you can, you can get on there and you can actually give us more information, more thoughts, invite your friends, invite other people with interesting uh, things to say. The third one is, this: we, we will continue to brief uh, folks in two ways. One is we're going to a wider audience. We're going to get out to communities now. You're going to see us at, uh, working with a number of the councils. Uh, to actually talk a little bit more to actually the end users and get their feedback. We're also going to go down a few of the streams that were mentioned today and really talk about, do the analysis um, and, and do some of the workshops around some of these real options. So you got an overview and upfront, but we do need to do the work on demand side management. We need to understand local generation better. We need to also continue to refine some of the cable or infrastructure options. And that's going to be an open discussion with different groups of folks involved, people with most to add and, and, and contribute. I just wanted to say that there was also some un, some a little bit of uncertainty around the dates and times. I and mean, you saw the, the numbers 2019 as one of the cliff edges and 2023 as the other. Um, and anybody who's quick with math noticed the 2019 seven-year window. We're actually in that window right now. Um, and, and that's a, it's a good question, uh, how we're managing the risk uh, in case we, we aren't able to facilitate some of the things we talked about today to actually make sure we provide that supply if the demand curve goes in, the, you know, in, in one potential scenario and in fact 2019 is the day. Um, there's a couple things we are doing. One is we didn't start today. We've actually done some of the analysis on the, ca on the cable and you were able to hear some of that today. To, uh, and so you can see here there's an overlap. After we talk about needs, we get into options. However, before we make a decision on an option, we're going to keep some of those options open. And we're going to do that through 
trying to develop the market on network support you heard Mal talk about. And we're going to do it by pushing through environmental assessments for the cable option. What's quite important is it's a seven year program of work, but we don't actually press the go button on build until the last three. There's still option, there's still time for us to, you know, to see a little bit more about where that demand curve goes, to proactively develop some of these non-build options a little bit further. So, and we're really open to doing that. We're trying hard to do that, but at the same time, we're, we're not going to. We, we, we will not let go of uh, the the lead times required to make sure any option is still on the table. So, just wanted to make that clear for those that didn't get it. And I and, and then I just want to summarize by saying thanks for spending the time today. I hope to hear many of your voices as we continue this engagement going forward. And I also hope to hear many of your voices as we engage on other projects and broader network issues uh, into the future. Thanks again for your time.